We always talk about how to use Citrazyme in the dental practice. Now let's show you how it does work at home. We can use Citrazyme to clean out the garbage disposal by just mixing a pack of Citrazyme in the sink, fill the sink up with warm water, keep the sink plugged, and let, then let it drain slowly while turning on your garbage disposal. You can also use it to uh, clean out or loosen stuck on burnt on food. And here uh, we had a meatloaf in a uh, glass bowl. We're just going to add one packet of Citrazyme and some warm water. So we'll put the Citrazyme in and add some warm water. And you can see the Citrazyme is dissolving all by itself. And we'll let that sit. We can see now on my watch that it's 2.04. Uh, we'll come back in about 20 minutes and you'll see how this just wipes right out. Okay, we're back. It's been about uh, 15 minutes or so. You can see on my watch. Uh, we had some stuck on meatloaf in a glass dish that you know is very difficult to take off uh, when you just soak it in water but the enzymes in the citrazyme that we added will actually break down the proteins and the starches again because in the meatloaf we had breadcrumbs and things like that which are carbohydrate so the citrazyme should have bro broke everything down and make it very easy for us to clean out this uh, pan and you could do the same thing uh, on a, in a pot or a frying pan, anything that's protein, anything that's carbohydrate, citrazyme is going to break this down. So let's take this over to the sink and we'll pour it out and we'll see how clean our bowl is. So we're pouring it down the sink here. And if you remember correctly, this thing was all stuck on and now it's all virtually gone. We can rinse it out, use some soap and water, and clean off the rest. Makes it very easy. So I'll also show you how to use Citrazyme for your garbage disposal. You know, when you use your garbage disposal over and over again, you'll get a buildup of, again, proteins and carbohydrates. It's uh, meats and bread and egg, whatever you're putting down your garbage disposal. Vegetables, they begin to build up a film. Uh, collect in the trap, the whole thing. So we need to clean this out and you can do that with Citrazyme very easily at home as well. So first we're going to take the plug and we're going to plug our uh, sink and we're going to add some warm water. Oops, we'll turn it down here. We'll add a little warm water to the sink. And then I'll take one Citrazyme pouch and while the water is filling up we can take our Citrazyme and, and add it and therefore mixes right in with the water. One pouch should be enough and you should probably do this uh, once a week. You can do this at home and you could do this uh, in your office as well. It's completely safe, completely biodegradable, safe for you. If it wasn't safe for me I wouldn't put my hands in there. It'll actually clean off your stainless steel because what happens is your stainless steel if you look under a microscope actually has a lot of pores in there and what happens those pores fill with carbohydrate and protein over the years and the citrazyme will actually penetrate those and clean out your stainless steel not only in your uh, sink but in your dishwasher as well and if you've got a plastic lined dishwasher it's completely safe and it'll do the same thing in your dishwasher clean it all out so now that we've filled some water in here and we'll add just a little bit more here yeah, you know you can just calculate maybe a, a third of your sink full or even a half uh, sink full uh, is going to be good enough. Warm water is best because warm water will activate the enzymes. And then all you have to do is uh, unplug your drain and turn on your garbage disposal at the same time. So we'll just let it drain slowly. I'll just open the plug a little bit, maybe halfway, turn on my garbage disposal, let it go down the drain, and you've cleaned up your garbage disposal and deodorized it as well.